Hello, sweet souls. Happy Thursday. It is October 3rd, and this is part two um, of your first reading. If you haven't watched it, go back and check it out. Definitely the winds of change is coming in, and there's a lot of karmic justice playing out. Um, you know, these are people that absolutely refuse to stop. Stop trying to interfere with your life. They continue to send negative energy, pay practitioners, cyberbully, whatever they're doing. Um, and this is why the divine stepping in. Now, I did pull from my deck. We're going to call on St. Michael. St. Michael, please return to sender. Anyone sending a will through thought, word, or action toward myself or the viewer. We're going to call on the Holy Spirit, angel saints, spirit guides, and ancestors, and ask for a message for your greater good. So it's time for you to let go of the past. Any pain, anger, bitterness, or resentment. When we hold on to these things, it's just like the saying, when you drink poison and hope it will affect your enemy, you're only killing yourself. We have to let go of this because this is um, not loving energy. It's not high vibrational energy. And our purpose is to evolve and ascend and be the best version of us in love and light. So we have to get rid of this, okay? Um, they're saying you are spiritually gifted. You're receiving downloads. This is the high priestess energy. So pay attention to the messages you receive. You're being guided toward abundance, financial stability, and blessings. And they said they want you to believe in miracles because a miracle will soon happen in your life. That's amazing. And then we got, we have this player. This is the culprit, the player from your past that is drowning in their addictions. This is someone that could have sex addiction, alcohol, drugs, gambling, money. They could be obsessed with money. It's a player. And this is the, the person that is um, sending negative energy towards you. They want you to continue to call on this, your spirit guides, the angels, saints, your ancestors, and ask them to intervene. You do have a new opportunity that's headed your way. They want you to take this risk, okay? It's aligned for you. We can see this narcissist has been trying to ostracize you with a group of friends, okay? This ringleader is the fire sign or someone that operates from ego that is being blocked by the divine right now. Why is this person being blocked? Because you're being guided on your destined path. You're doing what God's asking you to do. So anyone that interferes with your destiny is waging war against God. Plain and simple. They're waging war against God. You are coming out as an earth angel. Someone that's on a special mission for God. For some of you, you have this new home that's coming in and a divine masculine or feminine energy, um, whatever, whichever you are trying to manifest that's coming in for you. This is a gift and blessing from God, okay? God's wrath is under those people from the past that have been trying to wreak havoc in your life. Uh, karma and God's judgment. This is someone that would want nothing more than to reconcile with you. They're being hit with massive karma. We are going through winds of change. That's for sure. And that was the title my guides told me to put on that reading. So it makes sense. All right, guys, let's see. So... Um, current situation, you're in your full power. You're calling in a match to you, whether it's a romantic a friendship, a business, and somebody's in regret for cheating, lying, and stealing. They're regretting the investment that they made without accountability, of course. There's no accountability. They just regret it because they got caught and they're being accountable. They're being made accountable by the spiritual realm. Um, current situation. This is why they're going through uh, so much hardship right now. Current situation. Yeah, because they came against an empress. A high vibrational divine femme energy that was just trying to move on. Not trying to cause any problems in their life. Just trying to move on. And this is why they are reaping severe karma. Because they wouldn't stop. Uh, the challenge is the, the cycle's closed. They know they made the wrong decision choosing a karmic partner for money and everything that they have gained or thought that they would gain is falling apart. It's being taken from them. This is financial loss. This person is definitely losing financially because of this bad investment and because they chose to make you their enemy and try to attack you. The challenge. Challenge. Yeah, they're stuck, they're stagnant, they're challenged by transforming and healing. They don't want to change, they don't want to heal, they don't want to be accountable. 
So they're at the mercy of the spiritual realm. They're being exposed. Ace of Swords. They're being expo exposed. Do you see the angel in the background? The angel of God is coming in to expose this person for all that they have done, who they truly are. All right. The focus, somebody's focused on you, an empress energy. This is someone that is not protected. This is someone has no defense for what they did against you. They're also focused on you calling in a high level divine union that restores peace and harmony in your life. All right. Please clarify the focus for the collective. Focus. Yeah, they're seeing, they're seeing you now as this Queen of Wands, very beautiful or handsome, very passionate, very driven, and very confident. This person is carrying a heavy burden because of all the lies that they told, Ace of Swords in reverse. They're, they're burdened by their own lies in a nightmare, haunted by the lies that they spread about you. All right. In the past, somebody thought this was a tyrannical energy you gave a lot of love to. They presented themselves in this emperor energy, but really they were immature, a page of wands. This is someone that was selfish. This is someone that was immature, that thought they were going to have victory operating in this energy. They didn't realize you were protected. This, you were their ten of cups, and now they're under judgment for their free will actions. Please clarify past, Holy Spirit. Yeah, you were grounded. You were stable. You were their Ten of Cups. They threw away a chance for everlasting joy and happiness. They threw it away by juggling you. Yep. They chose passion over love. And so... Your strength is you're celebrating this truth that's coming out. You're celebrating. We have truth twice. This is going to allow you to move forward. Please clarify your strength. Collective strength. Yeah, this is allowing you to align with your fate and destiny. Things are going in your favor, and you are protected. You're protected. All right. Near future, um, we can see people are talking about this truth that's being exposed. It's causing a tower. Um you're stepping into your fate and destiny, moving forward to victory. And this person that has been holding on to you, this very greedy energy, they're going to witness you have victory, success, public recognition, while this past person is blocked. Please clarify in near future. Yeah. Near future, this person is in a long-term commitment or a marriage with a karmic where there's nothing but chaos and conflict. There's a lot of confusion and illusion, and this person's in a nightmare. This situation they've got themselves in, trying to wound you, trying to hurt you, trying to uh, ostracize you and destroy opportunities in your life, this is justice. Them being in the, in the energy that they're in, being trapped, bound to a karmic relationship in a nightmare is justice. And we can see in the advice, this person wouldn't stop. They continue to try to play this game, wanting to win at all costs. They are facing the Ten of Swords. Very painful ending, deception and betrayal. You are receiving the Ten of Cups, everlasting joy and happiness. You are not abandoned or rejected. And they said, manifest. Manifest. Advice for the collective. Yeah, they're saying this king of fire, this fiery energy has continued to play these mind games, continued to do things to try to win at all costs. But you are just embracing a new beginning and moving on to peace because it's spiritually led and spiritually guided. Spiritual realm is well aware of all this person has done. They haven't hidden a thing, not from the spiritual realm. You're moving on to victory. That's what you deserve. Yep, you're being elevated nine of pentacles. This is a lot of independence. This is doing things on your own, being financially stable and secure. Wow. All right. In the environment, people are well aware that this fire sign, um, they're in this marriage or long-term commitment. There's chaos. There's conflict. There's no peace and harmony. Um, 
there's a lot of reckless action too, a lot of bullying and the environment is where this person could be unwell. They need to heal. They're going through an ending that this is a narcissist and um, a very immature person, very narcissistic. They're receiving a lot of bad news as well in the environment. Yeah, because they came against a high priestess. They came against a high priestess. Let me see what the Knight of Cups is. What's the Knight of Cups? And they can see the high priestess is receiving a new opportunity offer that is going to put them on a new path with the dreamer that's like the, the fool taking a brand new leap of faith, a new beginning that's protected. Yeah, you're strong, you're confident, you're in your power. All right. With the hopes and fears, your past person's in fear because you are helping others. You're co-creating with God. You're receiving what you deserve. And they're watching, sl a slandering, without accountability. Um, but with the sun, the truth's coming to light. You're speaking the truth, and you're cutting this person off. Hopes and fears. Yeah, and this person that's an egomaniac, that is an emotional manipulator, they could be drowning in emotion. They're going to go through an awakening. They don't want to go through an awakening. But they don't have any say in it. Yep, this ten of swords that they're going to experience is going to wake them up. Wake me up inside. What is that song? Wake me up inside. I can't remember. Wake me up inside. I can't even remember the band right now. Uh, potential outcome. Your, a wish is being granted. This person is feeling sad. Uh, they know they made the wrong decision, but they're refusing to learn the lesson. They're just stuck and stagnant, learning nothing. You're staying private, receiving what you deserve. And the cycle where this person can do all this nefarious things in the dark is closing out. All right, please clarify potential outcome. Yeah, the blockage for this person is they're in heartbreak and they're in regret. Heartbreak and regret over you. Your success, you winning in a game you're not even playing. They're also upset because you're the hermit. They cannot reach your energy. They cannot deceive you. They cannot cheat, lie, or steal. You're not giving this person the time of day. All they can do is, is lurk around your page. Lurk around your energy. Try to spy on you. And what are they seeing? That you're happy. You are happy without them. They don't like it, but that's what they see. What do we need to know? I definitely am going to name this one Wake Me Up Inside. Because that's what's happening with this person. They're going kicking and screaming, but the Divine is bringing in the Ten of Swords and a tower. An ending. Massive ending to wake them up. You know, this is to save them. You know, this person interested in you, blooming romance, flirting, wanting to date. They want to come back in and lure you back in. This is someone that only cares about partying, overindulging. Um, they want to chase you, but they're blocked. Love call on the fence. They're blocked. You have blocked this person or it, either physically or energetically blocked this person. You don't want their love call. You don't want anything they got to offer because you, you've ascended. Your vibration is too high. You don't align with this person's lack of morals, values, Lack of spirituality, belief, faith. You don't align with this person. Yeah. You're looking, reminiscing, nostalgia, blocked. You don't care. You don't care. They can look. They can reminisce. They can daydream. They can do whatever they want. You really don't care. You're not interested. Not interested. Yeah. They're just spying. They know they've done too much. They know that bridge is burned, blown up, disintegrated. There is no more bridge to rebuild. This is not someone that you could ever trust. Yeah, you're focused on your own happiness. You have all the truth and clarity that you need to move forward. Meeting and talking. This person may want to try to meet and talk, but you know that they just want to try to come in and seduce you. And for most of you, I feel you're just grossed out by this person's energy. Their energy is disgusting. There is no, you know, 
wanting to connect with this person. You just don't. Yeah, you've just, you've, you're ready for the next phase of your life. You've released the past. You're like this butterfly. You've transformed. And you're ready to fly away. Yeah, you, you look at this person as somebody that has outdated thinking. They never change. They repeat their same patterns, never changing. You know who they are without their mask. Yeah, they're trying to block this ending, but they can't. You've already ended it. Yeah, you've released this person. They, they lack self-worth. They refuse to heal. And that's why you've, you're running. You can't run fast enough away from this energy. You know, it's like being married to someone. Say you were married for 10 years and that you never knew who that person was. And one day you wake up due to their free will actions that you've been married to Satan for 10 years. That's what it feels like. This person is so evil and they don't, they're not even accountable. They just lie and people believe them. And the people that believe them will reap karma. You're the Phoenix rising. You're just moving on. You're making healthy choices. You're loving yourself. Putting death to it. No second chances. Yeah. Not today. You're focused on real love. A real soulmate. And this, this could have been a false flame or a twin flame that wants to talk. Because now they're heartbroken because you've cut them off. And they're upset because they, they, they called in with a karmic partner, someone that is exactly like them. They can't handle their own toxicity. It's just weird. Weird, weird, and weird. I feel pity for this person. They just, they're pitiful. Their energy is nasty and disgusting. They must hate themselves. I can't even imagine existing in this manner. I just can't. You know, we've all made mistakes, but to sit in your ego and to continue to try to destroy someone who is not deserving, you're sick, you're twisted, and you need help. Go get help. And your family needs help too because they believed you. They're going to need help. Definitely. Let's see. All right, what else do we need to know? Your happy home, your happy life is protected. You do not have to worry. This person can do nothing to interfere with God's blessings over your life. And that's the truth. That's the truth. Ace of Swords. God's truth. You're dropping that burden and you're headed straight toward happiness. Happiness and success. High Priestess. This is what you deserve. You deserve this. You know, somebody wants to return to you, but they don't want to be accountable. They want to return to you, but they have no regret and no remorse for anything they've done. Yeah, this person's just trapped, feeling unwell. And that's why they want to escape. This person's a runner. They're, this is not someone that you could be in a relationship with that would stand by your side. This is a coward that when things get tough or they have to be accountable, they're going to run. I'm sorry, but I, I'd rather be alone than be in a relationship with someone like that. I want a ride or die. I want a real man. Somebody that's going to um, commit. Someone that I can trust that will have my back. That's right. They're saying your creative projects, you've been fighting through all of this. You've been focused on your creative projects and they're going to pay off. You are an empress. You're calling in multiple wishes. You're a master manifester. For some of you guys, you're traveling. God's definitely guiding you. Okay. God's guiding you. Your past person's going to go through this tower because they are stuck, stagnant, refusing to learn any lesson. You're taking a leap of faith when it comes to love that is fated for you and it is a wish come true. This fiery energy that wants to play in your, your energy with all these secrets and lies and do things in the dark and pay practitioners and cyber bully you, they are getting exactly what they deserve. Their karma is exactly what they deserve. Exactly. Do not feel sorry for them. Do not help them. 
This is something they have to learn on their own. Yeah, they went down the wrong path. We have a king of swords here. Now, this could be St. Michael or someone in the earthly realm. This can be a judge, an attorney, police um, coming in to deal with this knight of wands. This is someone that thought they were going toward victory, and what they're going toward is the ten of swords. A, a very, very humiliating and painful ending. They said, just stay private. Say to yourself, you're protected. You have nothing to worry about. It has nothing to do with you. It's because of you. But you haven't you haven't caused this. This person has caused their own demise. You know, you may have told this person, if you don't stop coming after me, you're going to end up destroying your own life. You may have warned this person. They didn't want to listen. They didn't want to listen. They wanted to mock you, laugh at you. They're not laughing anymore. It's not funny anymore when everything in their life's falling apart. Now they will know what it feels like to be in your shoes, rock bottom, with no support, lying and turning everyone against you. They will be forced to feel that. That's an opportunity for them to wake up and change. But yet still they have free will. They can choose. But I can tell you when it's all said and done, they're not going to mess with your energy ever again. They're going to figure out all the hellfire they're going through is because they keep trying to interfere in your life. They're going to figure that out. So by the end, they're not going to mess with you anymore. All right, guys, this is your second reading. I love you. If you're interested in scheduling a private reading, I'm scheduling for next Tuesday. Um, I have limited appointments, so they, they normally fill up by the weekend. So if you want to get in, uh, schedule sooner than later. And if you're interested in meeting new people, check out Astrodipity. You can find all of my links, the bio, TikTok, description of YouTube. I love and appreciate all of you. Have an amazing day. Bye-bye.